Today's topic of discussion is wishbone type suspension. Here the arrangement is here which is shown is a very simplified version. You can get different diagrams but for explanation purpose I have taken the side view so that it can be explained properly and only I have named only the important parts so that you can understand the construction as well as working. So as you can see this is the upper wishbone or arm and this is the lower wishbone or lower arm and this is the stub axle on which the wheel is mounted. So it is one of the independent front suspension. With independent front suspension only one wheel is affected if there is a road bump. So if there is a road bump it will affect only one wheel. The second wheel on the other side is not affected. Here you will have one helical spring between the two wishbone the upper and the lower wishbones with the support of frame member. So you have a helical spring between the two wishbone. The main advantage is the unequal wishbones. As you can see the upper wishbone is smaller than the lower. So with that whenever there is a road deformity or the vehicle moves on the bump and the wheel goes up or down the unequal length of the wishbone adjusts itself in such a way that the tire remains always in full contact with the road. So this unequal length adjusts the wheel moving up or down in such a way that the wheel has contact with the road. So this was wishbone type suspension the simplified drawing you can have look at the other drawings which will show how it looks but this is only for explanation purpose so please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching